welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Belinda Beauties. Today's DIY is gonna be this farmhouse barn door home decor. If you wanna see how I do this, then please keep watching. But before that we get started, I just wanna ask if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also we would click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I want to start by showing you the items that I'll be using for this farmhouse barn door. I'm going to be using four cedar fence boards. Just to save some time, I went ahead and I pre-cut them. These are boards that I have used to do some of my woodwork for my welcome signs and see these are just some that I didn't use after all so I ended up using them for this barn door so I've cut them and that's why you see that there is lettering on them and that's why some of them are painted some of them are not so I just decided to go ahead and use these fence cedar posts that I had on hand now you can use whatever size if you want them taller shorter it's really up to you i'm making my farm door 32 inches in height and they are five and a half inches in width okay i'm also going to be using a paintbrush i'm going to also use this ornament pull handle the this i purchased at lowe's a pencil a hammer, safety glasses, some nails, and these are about an inch in length. And this is just some leftover paint that I had, and this is a Rust-Oleum American Accent, and this is Ultra Cover, and the color is Heirloom White. I'm also gonna use some acrylic paint in the color Pewter Gray, some sandpaper, I'm also going to use a measuring tape and last but not least my electric saw okay this is how I'm going to be putting my boards and they are side by side I've lined up the three before that I nail my boards together I'm gonna get this piece of board and I'm going to cut it in two and a half inches and I'm gonna use that to put it across the top and also the bottom when I cut it, I'm going to have two boards. So I'm going to have one board that's going to go across this way on the top and one on the bottom. But as you can see, this board is too long, so I'm going to go ahead and have to cut it. But before that I do that, I'm going to go ahead and measure it. And it comes out to approximately 32 inches in width. Okay, I'm going to put my safety glasses on. And now I'm gonna cut this one board so that I have two to use as the border for the top and the bottom. Okay, I wanna show you that I went ahead and I cut this down to two inches instead of the measurement I had given you. I cut it down to two inches and I'm about to cut this one as well. I've already done my marking. The reason is when I was cutting, I kinda messed up one of the edges or I messed up the edging on this one so I had to straighten it out and so I had to reduce it to two inches okay so now I'm aligning my boards together because I'm about to start adding the border at the top and at the bottom and nailing them all together Okay, so I'm done and this is how it turned out. And now it's time to paint it. Okay. 
Okay, I'm done painting it. I only gave it one thin coat of that white paint. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna paint it with the gray to give it that weathered look. But for now, I'm gonna let this dry for several hours. Okay, my paint has already dried. Since I only gave it one thin coat of paint, the paint is dry. Now I was playing around with the paints. I wanna give it a weathered look. This is what I did. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna do the same technique to my barn door. I am going to just put a little bit of the gray paint. I'm gonna be using some of this matte acrylic paint in the color pewter gray. I'm going to lightly brush some of that gray paint onto my door so that I can achieve this look right here and it'll look kind of weathered. Now I may add some black and mix it in just to give it a deeper gray, but I'm gonna see how it looks with just this pewter gray and I'm gonna put it all over the door. So I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna barely put some of that gray paint on my paintbrush. I'm gonna barely tap it and then brush it. And now I'm going to take my sandpaper and I'm just going to lightly and sand it all over. Okay, so now all that is left is to put on my handle and that's what I'm gonna do. And once I'm done, I'll go ahead and show you where I've displayed my barn door. Well, here it is, my farmhouse barn door decor. I decided to display it here on my mantle. I think it turned out really good for it being my first time making a barn door. Beauties, I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next video. So bye-bye and God bless.